So we're going to discuss activation of alcohols, which is covered in the halogenoalkanes substitution and elimination reactions chapter. The first thing we're going to discuss is a nucleophilic substitution reaction of an alcohol. And you'll notice that in this particular example, we're looking to react this primary alcohol with bromide ion in an SN2 reaction to form this primary bromoalkane. But this reaction does not proceed. It is not possible to substitute the OH group with Br-. And the reason for this is that the OH group is a poor leaving group. What we need to do is to convert the OH group into a good leaving group such that that good leaving group is then subsequently substituted by Br- to form the product. And that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to convert the primary alcohol into a good leaving group, namely an organic mesylate. And then the organic mesylate subsequently is converted into the primary bromide. So in the first step, we react the alcohol with methane sulfonyl chloride or mesyl chloride. And we get loss of HCl, which is mopped up by a base. And we get the formation of this organic mesylate. And the mesylate is a good leaving group. So Br- can attack the carbon bonded to the oxygen. And we can kick out the mesylate ion as a leaving group. And the mechanism is an SN2 process. We tack at the same time as we lose the leaving group. So this is a way in which we can achieve an SN2 reaction of an alcohol. We can convert it into a good leaving group. And this is a mesylate group. So now we're going to compare the leaving group ability of an alcohol versus a mesylate. But before we do that, I'd just like to comment on the electrophilicity of the carbon atoms bonded to the alcohol and the mesylate group. And in the mesylate, we've got additional electronegative oxygen atoms, which are electron withdrawing, so we can pull electron density from this carbon atom. We've got a strong minus I effect here. And that effect is stronger than the minus I effect for the alcohol group. So in a mesylate, the carbon atom that is attacked by the nucleophile is more electrophilic. Let's come back to the leaving group. And one way in which we can get an idea of whether a group is a good leaving group or not is to look at the pKa values of the conjugate acids. So in this particular case, we're comparing the pKa value of water, which is the conjugate acid, of the hydroxide ion with the pKa of the methane sulfonic acid, which is the conjugate acid of the mesylate ion. And you'll see that this is a much stronger acid than water. As this is a much stronger acid than water, it's much more likely to lose the proton to form the anion. And that means then that this anion must be more stable than the hydroxide ion. And we can explain the stability of the mesylate ion by considering resonance. The negative charge is delocalized around all three of these oxygen atoms. So we can draw resonance structures showing the electron density being pushed onto all three oxygen atoms. As a rule of thumb, the more resonance structures we can draw for something, the more stable it is. So the mesylate ion is indeed a much more stable anion than the hydroxide ion and a much better leaving group. Now, the mesylate group is one of a family of sulfonate leaving groups. And here are two others. So to the left of the mesylate, we have this tosylate. To the right, we have a triflate. And the only difference between these groups is the substituent that's linked to sulfur. Methyl versus this aromatic group versus this trifluoromethyl group here. And these have different leaving group abilities. So actually, the triflate is the best leaving group of this series of compounds. And let's just consider why that is. That CF3 group is a very strong minus I effect, and that explains why this is a really, really good leaving group, better than the mesylate and the tosylate. The first thing is that the CF3 group helps to ensure that this carbon atom is even more electrophilic. We've got an even stronger minus I group here now, bonded to the carbon, making the carbon really delta plus and susceptible to nucleophilic attack. The other thing relates to the stability of the anion. So again, if we compare the pKa value 
of the conjugate acid of the triflate ion, which is this acid here, trifluoromethane sulfonic acid, you'll see the pKa value is very, very low, minus 15. This is an incredibly strong acid. Easily loses a proton to form this anion. So this anion is even more stable than the mesylate ion that we saw earlier on. And again, we can explain that because this CF3 group, which is bonded here, can stabilize the negative charge by inductive effects, helping to delocalize the negative charge and spread it across the molecule. We'll finish up by looking at a couple of representative substitution reactions and synthesis. The first example starts with this um, protected amino acid derivative. Here we have a carbamate functional group. Here we have an ester. And then we have the alcohol. And in this transformation, we want to convert the alcohol through to this iodide. In the first step, we're going to convert the alcohol into a good leaving group, namely a tosylate. And this is a chemoselective reaction. The tosyl chloride, in the presence of base, only reacts with the alcohol functional group, not the ester, not the carbamate. So we can selectively introduce this tosyl group at this position. As we've seen, this is a good leaving group. So one reaction with I minus from potassium iodide, we can get an SN2 substitution reaction taking place. The nucleophile comes in at the same time, we kick out the tosylate ion as a leaving group, and we form the primary iodide product. Finally, we've got this related example where we want now to activate this OH group and convert it into a good leaving group. And we're going to do that now using mesyl chloride, the presence of base, to mop up the HCl. So here is my leaving group now, and I'm going to react that with this PHS minus ion. And this acts as a nucleophile and tacks the carbon, kicking out the mesylate ion. This reaction is an SN2 process. We have an R-configured starting material going to an S-configured product. This sulfide or thioether that's formed is in the opposite configuration to the starting material. So we've got inversion of configuration, and it's an SN2 reaction. This is a chemoselective process because the anion only reacts with the mesylate group, not the ester or the benzene ring, and it's stereoselective because the R-configured starting material only goes to the S-configured product.